like penguins, sound like penguins, eat the same things penguins do for the most part. The only difference is, is that they can still fly. Not very good though. So this is a warning. If you see a common mirror, they're the ones that look like penguins, or a puffin, jump off the rocks, jump off the water, bat their wings madly, given that they're all, and you assume they're going to turn, they're headed right at you, don't. They're like flying potatoes. They'll run right into you. These birds are elsets, deep diving, solid bone birds. Most birds are hollow boned. Most birds are built for flying in the air. That's the not the case for these birds. They're hydrodynamically built. They're built for flying underneath the surface of the water. And we are going to see common mirrors and puffins here. I'm seeing quite a few of both. In fact, the common mirrors, these penguin-like birds, are the deepest diving of the birds that can still fly. These birds can dive down to 600 feet in the water table to get the small schooling fish should be. The only bird that can dive deeper than the common mirror are penguins. But penguins have made the ultimate sacrifice. Obviously, penguins can't fly. So, a couple more puffins here, right at our, whoop, oh, they take off on us. Now this is a nesting spot for the common mirrors. They lay what's called a conical shaped egg, or a pear shaped egg. So if the wind blows it, or another bird kicks it, it just rolls in a tight circle, won't fall off the edge. And just like penguins, both males and females will take turns incubating that egg. They'll walk along with that leg between their legs. Like a penguin, don't they?